at school time swami ji did lots of miracles as the village people always bowed to him whenever they saw him the students studying in his class and teachers always bowed and respected him every day these made the swami a bit worry so he stopped going to school the lord who knows everything about studies vedas stop schooling just after 6 3 months this swami ji's miracle spread all over the places a lot of people came to see him and got their worries and problems solved it became a daily event will the lord let other people be sad whoever came with their problems and worries left them one swami looked at them till today swami is in jeeva samadhi he helps all who visit him to get over their problems and worries they are at peace if you just think of him anywhere your problems will be solved you will feel it given sivan and parvati are sharing a body in one form called artanarishwara temple is in tiruchengadu this tells Shivam and Sakti is one. Same like this, Shankar and Narayanan temple where Shivam, Shivan gave place to Sri Hari. So both share one body to show Hari and Shivam is one. But people are crazy. Every time they say my Lord is bigger than your Lord and start fighting. God is one. They don't realize that. That is the reason. Like this. one incident happened in swami's life swami changed this by his vision people staying near trichi arvamuthu ayangar and his wife lakshmi amma they are bhaktas of sri ranga parmar they always pray to him lord will test their bhaktas won't he so these people had lot of and only one problem they wanted a son ayangar is 50 years old so the chance of having a son is very little so they decided to stay in sri rangam and pray daily to their lord rangan they rented a place and did their daily prayers every morning they went and took a bath in the kaveri river they prayed emotionally requesting for a baby they surrendered fully to the lord one day their sins were washed away the lord decided to help them he came in both their dreams and said he looked as lord ranga lying on the five bedded snake i am happy with your pure bhakti I came to tell you how you can get a child. There is a village called Kilalathur near your place. There is a siddhar. Give him pure milk. That is you have to bathe the cow and with loving heart both of you have to give the cow grass and you have to wear nice clothes and get the cow every day good grass and give the pure milk to the lord the siddhar will one day leave a little bit of milk for you take it and drink it with devotion and bhakti you will get a baby both woke up and were happy the lord rangan showed them a way they were ready to see the siddhar Early morning they took a bath in Kaveri went and prayed to Lord Rangan who looked from his lotus eyes and they went back they reached Kilalathur and informed neighbors about their dream and what Lord Ranga informed and asked where the swami hill or siddhar will be they showed them swami ji's home they reached his home there swami ji was in meditation with padmasanam pose they saw swami and were very impressed they felt like the lord rangan who is lying on the five headed snake had turned into a small boy and is meditating they waited in silence in front of swami ji a little while later he opened his eyes and smiled at them 
they understood that Swamiji knows everything and they did not need to tell him anything as his smile told them everything. From that day onwards and six days, they started to give him pure cow's milk as directed by Lord Ranganathan and with devotion and love. Sixth day, Swamiji left a little milk and said, no need to bring milk anymore. He said with his lovely words. They drank the balanced milk and left left by Swamiji. With Swamiji's blessing, 10 months later, they got a baby boy. They were very happy with Swamiji's miracle and always visited him with their baby and had his darshan often. Since their place was near, they visited him whenever they wished to see him and got his blessings. One day, they went to Swamiji. The baby which just had milk was sleeping in the cradle. They thought they will be back in a few short while and locked the house and left. When they reached Swamiji's home, Swamiji said, Your house is on fire. The child is sleeping in the cradle. Run. The child is comfortable. Don't fear, he said. They hurriedly ran to their home. When they neared their home, they were shocked to see the whole house was burnt. No one could try to pour water as the fire was very fierce. Everything was on fire. The parents thought that their child was burnt and dead. They cried by beating themselves and crawling on the ground. At that time, the neighbor next door, a Brahmin lady, came. The baby showing his lovely mouth with, without teeth. They were happy to see the baby and shocked. The village also was surprised. The child jumped to his mother. The mother hugged the child and fussed with it. Dear mother, our life is this only child. How did you save the baby from this from fire? The house was locked. How did you know the child was inside the house? I don't know anything. The fire started and it was noisy outside. I too came out from my house. At that time, a young boy with his body full of ashes and wearing cowbinum looked like a sannyasi came with this child and gave it to me. I don't know where he left, she said. The couple understood. Don't fear, child is comfortable, said Swamiji. At that time, he has come and saved him. At that time, the couple decided to name their child with Swamiji's name, which is Arunachalam. The end.